Sometimes, mostly due to your camera settings, you end up with a video clip that's undersized that doesn't fit in either the 4x3 common sized video screen and doesn't fit on the 16x9 um, widescreen video screen. Now, one way to correct this is to crop that video clip. There are some problems with this sometimes because cropping is like zooming in. You can make you can lower the quality of the video. I'm going to show you how to crop an undersized video like this using two free programs, Serif's Movie Plus Starter Edition and NCH Software's Video Pad Video Editor. This is the Movie Plus Starter Edition from Serif Software. It's the free version of Serif's Movie Plus photo editing program and it's got a very clean looking workspace. I'm just going to show you, oh, let me back up. I have other videos showing how to do different things with this particular program. So our, for right now I'm just going to show you how to crop a picture or video that's too small that doesn't fit in the screen. I'll show you what I mean. Over here we have media bar and the properties bar. I want to click once on the media bar to open it. On the project tab, import media, import and I have a file here I've resized to be too small and you can see here it just kind of sits in the middle of the screen in a sea of black and I'm going to open it here in movie plus if you hover the cursor over a clip in the library it plays and so if you want to if you have two or three clips and you want to select one particular one you can I guess listen to it you have to have the eyes of a hawk or a magnifying glass to see it, but it works. We're going to drag this down to the second track, which is the video track. And you can see here in our wide screen that it just kind of sits in the middle. It doesn't belong. How do we crop it? It's very easy. See here in the middle where it says fit? We're just going to click on that and click on crop. And it tries to put it up there. It does the best it can. We still have some, some bars on the top and the bottom. So what you do is you click on Fit and click on Custom. And we want to make sure where it says Match Project Aspect. You want to make sure that's highlighted. If it's not, click on it. And then we can just move this in and move it up. And we can see our preview window here. And we can see in our preview window. Now we're zoomed in. So because we're zoomed in, that means we take the chance of pixelating this. It looks like it's pixelated a little bit. But we've lost all of our black bars. It's no longer floating in a sea of black. So I'm going to move this over just a scotch. There we are. There's no OK button. You just click Close. How do you save a movie in, in Movie Plus? Go up here to File, Export Movie, File, and you have a number of choices. I'm just going to save it as a Windows Media File, a WMV file. And this is HD. It's already set to 720p, which is 20, the frame rate over here, look at the frame rate, is 29.970 NTSC. If you live in Europe, you want to pick the 72025, or if you live in Africa or a most of Asia, etc., you want the frame rate to be 25.000 PAL. If you live in North America, Japan, probably South Korea, you want it to be 72030 or whatever size. It could be 108025 or 108030. Also, if you don't have widescreen, if you have normal video, you get to pick these kinds of things. You can click broadband. It sets the frame rate at 30 or high speed or local playback. Okay, you can customize it by choosing the, the um, Windows Media, etc., etc. Gives you width, the height, etc. Okay. So, we're just going to pick the wide screen here, 720p30, because I'm in the United States. 
Movie Plus also gives you a chance to determine the render quality, how good the quality of your movie is. It has a number, draft, preview, normal, good, high, best. It tells you it's very slow, exclamation point. So I usually use high. Okay, we're done with the settings. Now we need to save it. I'm just going to call this movie word plus uh, crop test. I'm going to save it to I have a my tutorials or video tutorials right there. And I'm saving it. It'll come up and it'll tell me how long it'll take to be saved. And I've got to go out and We'll see in a minute how long this is going to take. I've got some work to do outside. It's only got a few seconds left. You can see this saves by frame. Whoops, I can't move. But if you watch over here, you can see the frames changing. Okay, it moves through sets of frames as it saves. So it'll be saved in just a minute. I wanted to see. There we are. Okay. Open the folder. Shows us where it is. It hasn't. There we go. And we can watch this. And you can see this one also is, is pixelated somewhat, but at least it starts starts at the beginning. This is Video Pads Video Editor. Um, looks a lot different than Movie Plus Starter Edition, and it is a lot different. This uh, this one has a lot of neat effects and great effects, and you can add more. Uh, it uses a virtual dub plugin that you can add to it. Also has a good set of transitions. It has everything you need buttons along the top. You can add media, capture from a camera, insert a blank. So you can automatically insert a blank. You can narrate, you can add uh, subtitles, saving your movie, their options, and then upgrading and suites, of course. Let's add some media. I'm going to add a file I've already resized to be too small, the same one that I used in the video. Or in this movie plus starter edition we're going to drag it down here to the video and you can see it's much too small okay it's got a big black border around it and so how are you going to crop it in video pad first of all click on it to highlight it and oh, and come up here to effects right in the middle at the top crop and you get the crop area down here where it says keep proportions. You want it to be 16 by 9 because we're set up for widescreen. Move it down and then move it in and adjust it until you have no more. There you go. And there's your video. And now it's cropped for widescreen. You won't have any more uh, black bars around it. Now, cropping it like this is actually like zooming in. So you might get a little pixelation. Your resolution might not be too good. How to save it? Come up here and just click on Save Movie. And we want to save this to Computer Data. And the destination. Okay, we can browse to it. Let's set these up first. For presets, we want it to be HD 720. Now yours might be, might be something else. You have a number of things to select from here. And the file format, I want to be WMV. Resolution. Frame rate, we don't want PAL. We want uh, NTSC. Encoder options, media 8. I'm going to just check this. You don't have to really bother with encoder options. Now, where do I want it saved to? I want it in my video libraries. I'm going to call this the video, crop, video pad crop test. And I'm going to put it in 
my video tutorials file, which is right here. I'm going to save it. And then you just click OK. It automatically starts to save. And I'm just going to let this one save so we can see what the resolution is kind of like. Okay. We're going to open the folder. There it is right there. We're going to look at it. And it's not up there yet. There it is. And you can see it's kind of pixelated because we've zoomed in. Okay. Video pad in general doesn't save with the higher, the best quality like, um, so it has a, like, uh, Movie Plus Starter Edition does. And some people have complained about the quality. The other thing I won't do is if you want to replay, See, it doesn't start. There's this big black area ahead of time. Let's check that out. That happened to me before. As far as I know, I'm up as far as I can go here. I'm on zero. I don't know why it's doing that, but okay. So anyway, Video Pad has a lot of, it, really the effects and the transitions work wonderfully well. But I don't think the program itself works as well as Serif's Movie Plus Starter Edition.